Kate breaks new ground as subtle tribute a first for the Princess of Wales. Princess Kate returned to Wimbledon with a fresh look as the royal made a large statement, according to a style expert. The Princess of Wales took her seat in the royal box at Wimbledon last Sunday to watch Novak Djokovic and Carlos Alcaraz face off in the men's singles final. In a break from her usual SW19 style, Kate wore a custom version of Safiya's Cecilia dress in purple for her visit to Centre Court. Pippa Middleton and Princess Charlotte, who have helped take great care of Kate throughout her cancer treatment, accompanied the princess to Wimbledon. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Tobias Cormind, the managing director of 77 Diamonds, Europe's largest diamond jeweler, exclusively spoke to GB News about Kate's fresh look at Wimbledon, and why it was a first for the princess. He explained, Kate's stunning and distinctive new Wimbledon statement look comprised a purple dress, paying tribute to the Wimbledon colors, which was a first for the princess. She paired this rich and regal hue with large, statement yellow gold earrings, the perfect combination, and in contrast to some of the more dainty jewels she has sometimes worn at Wimbledon in the past. Kate's 2024 Wimbledon earrings are currently on sale for £480, after originally costing £600 from the brand by Pariah. Cormind continued, she teamed this with a couple of bold, yellow gold and aquamarine and topaz set bangles. Both of these, she has worn separately to Wimbledon in previous years. While the Princess of Wales returned to Wimbledon with a fresh look, it complemented her past outfit and jewellery choices well. The combination of her green and gold look of 2023 and her purple and gold look of 2024, both worn to the men's tennis final match, also pay tribute to her position as the president of the All England Lawn Tennis Club. Kate has been a fixture in SW19 since joining the royal family 13 years ago, becoming patron of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club in 2016. The 42-year-old is one of the tournament's most animated spectators. The princess has also taken part in ball girl training with Roger Federer, and, following Emma Rajakanyu's Grand Slam win in 2021, had a lesson with the former British number one and at the National Tennis Centre. Prince Harry has announced the Invictus Games is coming back to the UK in 2027, the first time the event will be held here since its debut in 2014. In a new statement, the Duke of Sussex praised Birmingham as a formidable contender, with the Midlands City being set to host the Invictus Games in three years' time. The Games has changed a lot over the last decade its main alteration being no longer associated with the royal foundation of the Prince and Princess of Wales. In 2014, the father of two founded the international multi-sport event as part of the royal foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry, as it was then known. The first iteration of the Games was overtly royal in nature, with King Charles and Prince William attending to support the Duke of Sussex at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London. However, after stepping down as a working royal in 2020, the Games became an independent organization, separate from the royal family's endeavors. No members of the royal family, including Prince William and Princess Kate, have publicly shown support for the Invictus Games over the past four years, with it being held in foreign countries. However, with the Games' return to the UK in 2027, Questions will likely be raised over the Prince and Princess of Wales's attendance to support the former working royal. Kate and William, both 42, would not be obliged to attend the event, given its status as an independent organization. However, the royal family would almost certainly have to consider the optics of a major sporting event being held in the heart of the UK and no visibility from Harry's immediate family, thus placing the Waleses in an awkward position. William and Kate could run the risk of appearing cold if they failed to show public support for the Duke of Sussex. However, defenders of the Prince and Princess of Wales would argue Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, have made several negative statements about the Waleses, through an autobiography, interviews and a Netflix docuseries.